With war surrounding these fields in eastern Ukraine, the harvest is perilous. It's necessary to save the harvest even if it gets stuck in the porch, this farmer said. Most of Ukraine's grain has been stranded for months because of a Russian blockade. There's a backlog of 25 million tons. But today, some good news. After weeks of negotiations, a landmark agreement. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. Ukraine is one of the world's largest exporters of grain, and the war has exacerbated a global food crisis, particularly in Africa. The deal was brokered by the UN and Turkey. Turkey's president said he hoped this could be a turning point towards peace, but Ukraine and Russia didn't go that far. Ministers from both countries signed the agreement separately, and they didn't sit together at the table. This sign showing the Ukraine and Russian flag right next to each other was hurriedly replaced by another, which had the UN flag between the two. Ukraine has accused Russia of stealing its grain and selling it. NATO allies, including Canada, say they'll be watching Russia closely. Russia is responsible for this global food crisis because of the wrong-headed decision they took to invade a peaceful neighbour. It's expected to take 10 days for Ukraine's ports to reopen, and experts say it will be challenging for the country to ramp up its export capacity to the level it was at before the invasion. Will we be able to get grain to export positions? Will we be able to get grain through, through uh, harbors to, onto boats and then out? So even if we can't get back to the original numbers, uh, doing anything will be a good thing. Because not only will it bring more money to Ukraine's farmers, it will help move grain to countries that desperately need it. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Toronto.